What's up guys and welcome back to Ginger TV. Today we have a review of an interesting product. It is a mechanical keyboard that looks like a typewriter. This mechanical keyboard is made by a company named Stoga and it's a 10 kilos keyboard but don't forget the most important thing it is RGB. It's an interesting keyboard because it doesn't have square keys like usual keyboards but it does have round keys like the old school typewriter and honestly they feel really good. At first I wasn't used to the round keys so the edges of the round keys is separated from each other so it was very different from the usual square keys but with time I got used to it and it's really nice to have now. It is a fully RGB keyboard and each key is individually lit and it is programmable and it's surprising because this keyboard costs only around $75. It doesn't have a software like Logitech or Corsair but at least they are programmable, hardware programmable and honestly, anything at this price point, fully RGB, I'll take it. So if you know about the keyboard world, an RGB keyboard that is 10 keyless like this one will cost you around 100, 150, even 200 dollars sometime for the higher end ones. On the top, you have two dials. One is for your multimeter control on the right and on the left, it's to control the different LED variants. On the top of the keyboard, you're gonna find also some shortcuts. So you're gonna have a home key, a sleep mode key, an email key, a calculator key. So it's nice to have like little shortcuts, but personally, I haven't used them as much. Although it is a cheaper keyboard, I was really happy to see that they included a braided USB keyboard. Not removable, but that's okay. But having a braided keyboard is already like a plus one for me because honestly, it's a premium feeling to it. The keyboard uses blue B Sun keys. Yes, the keys are completely like cheap Chinese knockoff keys from the Cherry MX keys, but it's totally fine. It still feels pretty good to be honest. Not like an actual Cherry MX because I, in my opinion, that's unbeatable. But it is still cool if you are going into this because you want to have an RGB keyboard and don't want to break it back. There are blue switches, however, so they have a nice clicky sound. And here is a sound sample. Now let's talk about the typing experience and honestly, it feels really good. It feels like there's enough tactile feedback with a nice sound, but compared to the Sherry MX, they can't compare. The Sherry MX has a lot more feedback and the sound is more like smoother to, to the touch. I feel like whenever I touch it, like it sounds really good. I know it's weird, but if you're into keyboard, trust me, you'll get it. But yeah, it feels like it's okay. Like if somebody's looking for a keyboard that is uh, mechanical and wants full RGB, I would really suggest it to it. However, if you're looking for a premium built keyboard, this is probably not the one for you. So first of all, the knobs on the top, I was able to remove the cover so there is nothing gluing to them to the, to the keyboard itself. And another thing, the keys are very light. So when you pick up the keyboard, you're going to feel it's super light compared to other keyboards. So I think it's mostly made out of plastic without any metal. So if you're looking for a premium build, maybe spend an extra $40 to $50 and get yourself a Corsair or a Logitech keyboard. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop a like down below. It really helps me out. Also, if you're interested in behind the scene content, I'll leave my Instagram in the description down below so you can come and follow me. Uh, subscribe for more content like this. This is Ginger TV, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.